Yo, what is going on guys? Climax here, bringing you guys a Minecraft home tutorial, and basically today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a simple mushroom house or a simple survival mushroom house, and this video is going to be based on last week's video where I started off a new series where I built the structure of the house and then showed you guys the finished product of that house and asked as to if whether or not you guys wanted a tutorial on that house. So I'm pretty sure that some of you might have wanted to see this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and do so. And uh, I'm going to rattle off the list of materials that we're going to be using here, all relatively simple to get in a survival situation so anyways right now we're actually going to be using both mushrooms you can easily find them on the ground bone meal um, oak wood planks oak wood glass panes wooden doors and a bed that's just because it was dark out but um, basically this is going to be the gist of materials that you're going to need I'm going to be doing some exterior decorating and uh, interior decorating and then showing you guys a tour at the end of this video now I do know that glass panes are somewhat harder to get in a survival situation so you could go ahead and use glass if you wish to do so so anyways with that said let's go ahead and get into this uh, tutorial here now what you're going to want to do is as you guys can see I've already basically got this mushroom here because uh, you need it six high in order to do in order to do this house and uh, it takes you a couple tries but like I said they're not that hard to find mushrooms you can just easily find them on the ground so you have to make sure that this mushroom is six high as you guys can see otherwise the house won't work so now what you're going to want to do is on every end here we're going to place a mushroom down not all the same amount of block space but we're going to do on these two sides right here we're going to take the red mushrooms and then go back five blocks and then wait I believe that's five two three four yep and same on this side three four five and on these two sides you're going to want to place them six blocks back two three four five six two three four five six and now what we're going to want to do is take your bone meal and then uh, what I found that made it a lot easier in order to get this because you want one block space in between the mushroom and the the ground so what you're going to want to do is somewhat inch your way towards the mushroom until you see that little box indicator that goes around the item and then that's when you want to hit it with the bone meal like that it might take you a couple tries um, but most of the time it gets you what you want in the first try so just inch your way and just smack it a couple times I guess on there and you're going to get that one block space most likely as you guys can see I got it probably I believe this would work as well okay so four out of four times anyways now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your oak wood and just go along the bottoms of the mushrooms here as you guys see that I'm doing and I keep messing up and just outline the one space block in between the mushroom and the ground uh, let me know if you guys want me to talk more in my tutorials I do find that it's a little bit more simple to follow when you're just listening to the instructions and rather than somebody going off course and talking about a whole different topic so it's all up to you guys let me know um, anyways now I'm going to take my oak wood planks and on each of these corners here, as you guys can see, just go all the way down until you meet with the oak wood. As you guys can see that I'm doing here. Alright, now that you have that done on all four corners, what you're going to want to do now, it doesn't really matter what type of wood you want to use, but I'm just going to go in like so on each of these little um, little things that go inside of the house just because you're one block ahead rather than on these ones where you're one block out. So then you're going to take your glass panes and these are just going to be a bit of like window and lighting, source of lighting during the day. And um, on here, this is what you uh, basically, this is what I like to do. And you're going to take your oak wood and just somewhat fill in these little gaps that's are, that are in between the uh, oak wood planks and the mushrooms here, as you guys can see, like so. And then just put another uh, row of blocks there and then fill it in with the glass panes. Like I said, you could use whatever you wish, glass panes, glass, it doesn't really matter. All up to your personal preference. 
And I believe that was the last one. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can actually step inside of the house and start turning uh, this house into something that looks pretty nice. So as you guys can see, this is basically just the gist of it. Not too hard, little to no resources needed. So we're going to go in. It doesn't really matter which way you go in. I like to actually have the ones that are extended out a little bit further on the sides. And this would be the doorway, of course. And uh, what you're going to do is you're just, you're just going to go into here and somewhat knock out these walls, knock out these walls. And you can even take out the stems here. They don't really do much but take up space. Alrighty, almost done here. And then we're just going to start knocking out some of these mushrooms, a bit of these mushrooms just to make some windows. All right, now we're gonna take our glass panes and you can knock out three high. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all up to your personal preference, as I said before. So I'm just gonna go up three on each of these little room areas. Oh, and make sure that when you're doing this, be somewhat careful because if you knock any other blocks of the mushrooms out, they don't regrow, so you're going to have to, well, it doesn't really matter, um, but if you want to have, like, an exact replica of this, then you would have to, like, redo the mushroom because they don't grow back. So anyways, now with that done, we can go into our little bit of um, building blocks here, and I'm just going to take oak wood slabs, and we're going to go on top of each of these areas where you can see the little gap in between the mushrooms and the inside of the house as you guys can see oops all right and you could even place a little glass pane there if you wish to do so Alrighty, now for the most part, that is basically the house here. I will be back in just a few minutes and give you guys the tour of what I'm going to turn this house into so it looks not so bland and it looks really nice. See you guys there. Alright guys, and we're back. So basically at this point in time, you can pretty much conclude that this house is complete. So with that said, I will now move on to a 360 view of the house. And um, after that, I will give you guys a further in-depth look as to what I have going on on the exterior. And then after that, I will then move on into the interior and show you guys a bit of the house. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. I really am happy with the way this house turned out. And uh, if you wish to pause the video along the way as I'm doing this 360 view or as I'm showing you guys a couple things, just if you wish to... Uh, you know make an exact replica of this house or just to give you guys some ideas as to some things that you may want to implement onto your house that's fine as well so anyways right there we are now complete with the 360 view and I will now show you guys a little bit more as to what's going on on the outside so as you guys can see this is just a small little farming area with a few decorations I have some bushes uh, some fence posts and also some torches just to light up the area so I believe mobs don't spawn around you and whatnot also uh, these are trap doors which kind of reminded me of shutters that you kind of just close over your windows like old-fashioned style and stuff anyways uh, you may wonder that this is pretty much added on from the recent build that I pre pretty much kicked the series off with and it doesn't really serve any necessary purpose as just a source of light it kind of reminds me of like a lighthouse uh, that's basically it and um, you know if you're wondering what these are it's basically just some fence posts stacked up on top of each other and some oak leaves and also some vines and just let them grow down and it looks like a really nice uh, I believe they're called hanging plants or something like that they just grow as they're hanging in midair so that's pretty cool here is a chicken coop where you can then get your chickens and uh, collect their eggs as well that's kind of interesting I haven't really done that before but it looks really cool also we have some livestock we have some sheep pigs cows and uh, you can basically feed them and breed them uh, so they can I believe reproduce and whatnot also here's another small little farming area and you know animal animals keep getting in here and uh, they keep like stomping on the crops and then they keep uh, killing them so I'm gonna have to 
find out a way how to fix that. Also, we have a small little sitting out here. Now, I know that you're not necessarily going to come in here and sit down and have a cup of lemonade and what or something like that, but it does add a nice feature to the house, and I think it looks really cool. So, anyways, um, that's pretty much it. I think it turned out really nice. So, with that said, let's go on into the interior, and here is the inside of the house. It's uh, it's pretty small, but it actually gets the job done. You can pretty much move around freely in the house. Just have some bushes, paintings, uh, a chandelier, as well as just a small little potion area and a enchantment table, as well as just some books. Um, here is a kitchen area where you have your furnaces, crafting tables, chests, storage areas. Here's some more chests as you go along into the um, kitchen area here. Also. We have the one bedroom. There's only one bedroom in this house, so basically a solo survival, or you could kind of bunk up with a buddy and, uh, you know, I guess figure it out. I don't really know. I haven't really made uh, a second room. This is basically the only room here, and there's just a small little chest that you can access underneath the bed, as well as a crafting table, um, a furnace, and two little storage areas. So for the most part, guys, this is pretty much it. I hope this, like, helped you out. Uh, got you guys creative got you guys like minds thinking and uh, just be creative guys if you wish to you know follow the direction that I took here with uh, the whole aspect of this house or if you wish to make it your own that is perfectly fine but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed and if so please drop a like down below they are much appreciated and I will see you guys next time peace